In this video, we'll be balancing combustion reactions. Remember that a combustion reaction can be identified by the reactants and products. The reactants are always a hydrocarbon and oxygen, and the products are always carbon dioxide and water. So if you recognize a combustion reaction, remember you'll be balancing the elements in this order. Carbon, then hydrogen, then oxygen. So feel free to pause this video and try, and try to balance this yourself. Okay, first let's balance carbon. We have four carbons on the left, so we need four carbons on the right. Next, we balance hydrogen. We have 10 hydrogens on the left, so we need 10 hydrogens on the right. So of course, we have to place a coefficient of five. Now lastly, we balance oxygen. Let's figure out how many total oxygens we have on the right. Well here, we have eight, and over here, we have five. So that's 13 total oxygen on the right. So that means we need 13 here on the left. So what number times two will give us 13? That's right, it's 6.5. And of course, we don't want 0.5s as coefficients. We only want whole numbers as coefficients. So rewrite it and multiply every coefficient through by two. So two, 13, eight, and 10. Okay, let's do one more example. Same thing, carbon first, then hydrogen, then oxygen. We have three carbons on the left, so we need three carbons on the right. We have eight hydrogens on the left, so we need eight hydrogens on the right. Now let's balance oxygen last. This will be the tricky one. We have six oxygens here, and we have four oxygens here. So that's a total of 10 oxygens on the right. That means we'll need 10 oxygens on the left. Now you can see on the left we have oxygen in two spots, here and here. Now, if we manipulate the coefficient out in front here, it will change how many oxygens we have, but it will also change how many carbons and hydrogens we have, so that will probably get a little bit messy. So let's try not to mess with the coefficient here. So we have three oxygens already accounted for, and remember, we're trying to get 10 oxygens on the left. So if we already have three, that means we need seven more. So here we have two. So what number times two will give us seven, because we need seven more? That's right, 3.5. Now go ahead and multiply through each coefficient by two. So it should be two, seven, six, and eight. Now it's probably wise that you go back um, and you check this equation here to make sure that everything's balanced. But remember, when balancing combustion reactions, balance the elements in this order carbon, hydrogen, then oxygen.